A crazy semifinals from last weekend's Latin American tournament will be out tomorrow. What's up guys, Shuri here, and today I got a video of me and Tawina doing duos, and we are insane together. We do some crazy stuff, guys. You're gonna love it. So, I go out and I get the first strike. Somebody is going to get the hill while I go ahead and take the guy out in the back. Luckily, Tawina does end up getting the hill right off the bat while I kill people, and... We are off to an amazing start in zone control. If the other team's hill starts it off, you're almost never going to get very many points. You're definitely not going to have the lead. And instead, I kill people, she grabs the hill, and we go up with an early 200-point lead. They will end up getting it back, though. We do try to rush over there and do whatever we can. We get a little bit of teamwork going right here, and we start to take the hill away from them. We are just a little bit shy of actually getting it, but we're going to spawn and try to go ahead and get our hill right off the bat. We got a good, like, five seconds to get there, so everything works out really well. I'm going to go try to head people off because I already have my team going towards the hill. I just want to kind of delay my uh, teammates from having to fight those people to get there. And it doesn't exactly work out as well as I hoped. I was hoping to like kind of do a better job of living there and then give my team more support but it is what it is and we do have a team support heal in the hill that is going to help us make sure we get it and i'm going to go around to the left side and make sure no one's coming behind us i do get surprised by an invisible person i light him up but i don't do very much damage luckily tawina is there to take him out and make sure we keep the hill sadly another two guys came and they did end up taking the hill back which does suck because the nice lead we got in the beginning does uh, actually go away. And the other team's doing a great job here. I know my teammates don't know about that person, so I go ahead and throw the grenade. I choose a really good time to do it and kill him. And we do take the hill with two seconds left, which doesn't do too much. But I realize there's only two seconds left and try to go ahead and get to that hill. Sadly, I do end up dying before I can take it. And I know that right here, I need to just go ahead and post up right here, wait for my teammates to spawn, and then kind of just go in all together and do some team shots. And that's pretty much what I'm going to do is just try to get them low right here, kind of light them up for everybody, and just make sure we get a little bit of teamwork going. And we do end up taking out two of them, and we have a teammate that comes up behind them. It does end up working out. And I'm going to try to use this little building here for cover. And I take out the guy that killed me and one other were able to take the hill. And I know what you're thinking. I thought you said you guys did insane. And I know we're down 200. But this is where things truly get awesome. We're going to go up and try to kill the guy on their shrubs. Our teammate does a great job to kill them. And we're going to kind of just stay back here and get anyone who kind of comes through the middle. And we're going to try to go ahead and help the person that goes up on their shrub area there. Our teammate does end up killing them. And I'm more concerned about just lighting people up and getting people low for my teammates than anything and we are able to get the kill there Tawina does come up from the middle up the stairs to not only take the hill but help us stay alive there i do appreciate it and we are going to push up and we're just going to see where do they need us at and a guy came up the steps we are on their side so if anyone comes through from my left right here i can go do that if they come up the middle stairs we can go get them there and we can also drop on them from right here I thought I saw somebody coming from like that side. We did see him and we dropped on him, did a great job there. And we go ahead and get a quick unstoppable and retake that hill. We are going to the middle and we know, okay, cool. We need to start getting some kills here and we do. We are already well on our way. We get another one right here and our teammates doing a great job to not only get the hill and keep it, but going ahead and just going straight on a run we were down by 300 and now we're up by 600 very quickly and this guy coming up behind us we do end up getting a chopper kill to the head up close chopper is very good and we do end up getting that kill to end the game with 375 16 kills like 10 assists i believe and an insane thank you so much to Wiener for doing so great that game uh the end of this one, I was like, oh my god, I got an insane to win. That is nuts. 
And then uh, I was like, hey, we got to get a video together now. Let's go ahead and get two more good ones. And she agreed. I do appreciate you, Tawina. Uh, and so that's what we did. We played like five or six more games. And here are two of uh, some of the best ones. You guys all know Aim Off Warrior, now Samurai Warrior. One of the best people on the channel. I do appreciate his help that he has given me through the last six months or so of the channel. So, uh, shout out to him. And we are going to try to go get another assist here and just basically provide some cover support up top and help our teammates take back the hill. I actually thought that we were going to get the hill a little bit faster. That was my bad. Uh, I probably should have just went and got it myself. But I wanted to kind of provide more cover fire there, and I didn't end up doing that either. So uh, a little bit of a rough start, partly my fault. Uh, okay, mostly my fault. But we are going to go ahead and get the lead back. We should have a pretty good lead since it was our first hill. But what you going to do? And I know that since we don't have a huge lead right here, I am going to have to do whatever I can to make sure we do get some of the time from their hill. And uh, I'm just having a rough start at this game. And luckily, Chawina is doing her part to carry me while I have a little bit of a rough game. And we're going to start out strong here, though. I know that we have to end up getting it. So we know they're going around. So instead of uh, kind of just like chasing them and stuff, we back up, let them run into us. Since they're lit up, we can see them coming around the building. We know exactly where they're going to come from. While they think they're being smart, they're really just running into our bullets. So just remember, be patient, wait for people. If it looks like they're going to do something, they probably are. And just kind of set yourself up for where they're going to end up being. And then also keep just an eye out for where the rest of their team's going to be. And you can start to get some multi-kills. And they don't go up too high off of their first hill. And while it does seem like we're losing by 170, that's not great. The fact that we were tied after our first hill, it's really good that we're only down by this much. And again, Tawina does get the hill. And she starts to back up, get some good positioning. And I am going to move up. And we're going to double team these guys. We do end up team shotting that person to get a double kill. Tawina moves up. Cody helps her from up on our bushes. And I am slowed here. I don't really know where they're at. And I'm just trying to go around to find them. I do find them on the stairs. I shoot them. But Aim Off Warrior does go up. up behind me he does get a triple kill on me as well great job on his part there and i'm gonna just come up over here see how much time's left i see that there's only eight seconds left and so i'm gonna just try here not to worry about the hill but getting positioning on the new hill and so that's why i'm gonna jump down here and just try to put up as much resistance to them as possible and kill the two guys from their hill and then put myself in a position to attack anyone coming from the three lanes that could go to this hill and that means this side on the uh left here there's a guy up the middle and then there's a way you can come up on the right and so i wanted to make sure i was in a good position to kill all of them and i do end up getting the triple kill because of a nice frost grenade there and just doing work with both my uh, icebreaker and orion Orion and Icebreaker are so good on this game type, especially on this map, and I had to run out of ammo, doing a great job there to have that team support. Thank God my team was doing great this game. Great teamwork all around. We do end up starting to get up by 400, and uh, when you're up by 400 and the other team's dancing on you, it does feel a little weird. It's very confusing, but you know what? Hey, if that makes them feel better, then I'm happy with it. Nice dance move, bro. <laughs> and we are going to go in the hill. We do end up having great teamwork there, and we get one kill. We are now in first place. Just super good teamwork, and we are going to just keep up the good work. We are now up by about 700 when we were down pretty hardcore early. So great teamwork, and that's what shows you the sign of a really good duos is do you have the resilience to come from down to come back and dominate and we did that all day long uh aim off warrior on the mvp screen congrats bro you did an awesome job all right and we are gonna get on to the next one and this was our last game we needed to make it count and we were like you know what we're gonna make it count 
And I immediately die to Orochi, which makes me sad inside. But murder on our team is also Orochi. So what you gonna do, right? And Tawina and I are gonna come out strong here. She gets the kill on the hill and saves it, doing a great job. Um, she always plays around the objective. And she's not out there just trying to get random kills that don't matter to anything. Annie is the same way, and that's why both of these duos do so well together, is because if you work together and you play the team objective, and you don't just go for your individual kills, you are going to do way better than the other team, and that's why we win most of the games, unless it's a team of four, and that goes for both me and Annie, and me and Tawina, and me and El Loco, and a lot of the people I play duos with, it's all about teamwork and just playing together being selfless, not really worrying about anything except making sure that your team has the hill and that you're supporting each other, that you're team shouting, that you're just working together and uh, doing a great job of that. Chuina does end up getting taken out by the crossbow there. That's why I go ahead and take him out. And there, I knew I was pretty screwed, so I was like, maybe I can hit him with a throwing knife. It only gets him low instead of kills him. I was sad. But what you gonna do, right? We up by 600. I can't be mad at it. We go ahead and we are gonna try to just do whatever we can here. I went to go uh, push up by myself and realized, you know what? I should wait for the rest of my team. And that was a smart move. I do end up getting the double there. And I get the triple right there. I'm going for the four at once. And we don't get it because aim assist made us try to kill the guy that was on top. That was an unfortunate spawn for us right here. We do end up getting them low for our teammates. We're trying to get an angle away from that Psycho Soldier guy. That way we can um, not die. But we are very unfortunate to uh, not really have enough time to get there. I mean, it was just such a wide angle. There's no way we we're going to get behind the truck in time. Uh, but it was a good try. And right here, I do end up getting Junius through the little fruit stand. And then we kill you slow. And right here... We are going to try to get this triple. I am not sure that it's possible. And he did a great job of pushing up and away from me there instead of coming towards me. Staying outside of my Orion range. I tried to stay line of sight from the guy that ended up killing me. But the same fruit stand I killed that guy through, I got killed through. Um, shocker, the thing that doesn't have solid walls you can shoot through. But we are going to go out here and there are a bunch of Orochi people. And uh, then you also have Aim Off Warrior doing a great job with his Icebreaker. And it's just too little too late because me, Tawina, and our team are going hard on those hills, bro. And his team's just bow camping away from them. And that's the biggest thing that you want to take away from this, guys. You don't want to be the bow camper on zone control. It does not help your team out. I don't care what anyone says. Like, it just, it's not good. And... Me and Tawina get a great one too, a quick one to end the game and get me into the Hall of Fame. <laughs> so, thank you Tawina for playing with me. I do appreciate it and making a great video. It was fun. This one's an honorable mention and I do appreciate the carry Tawina. Just so you guys know, I was like two wins and six losses on the day when we started playing. And then we came around and went like six and one together. I do appreciate the help, Tawina. It really turned around the day. And it worked out really great for both of us. As always, our duos worked. We got trophies. We had fun. And I appreciate you. All right, guys. Hope you have enjoyed this and you have a great day. I'll have the Brazookas uh, video out tomorrow. It, it was the Brazookas 2 game that was the semifinals of the Brazil tournament from last weekend. Okay, guys. See ya.